Hi guys, my name is Daniel Smith, I'm from smithpix.co.uk and today I'm going to show you how to use the step and repeat function in Photoshop. So first of all we've got our image that we're going to uh, create a backdrop and because of the type of um, image that I'm going to create I'm going to actually crop this to make it a bigger image so I'll go to my crop tool I'll just make a bigger area around so command and minus just to zoom out a little bit so we've got a nice big area. I'll put air in the middle there and then press enter and then we're going to create a new layer now there's two ways of doing that there's either the button down in the corner here or we can go uh, shift command n you can name your image at uh, your layer here if you choose to I'm just going to press OK and then we are going to create the shapes on the top here so I've got my rectangle tool here and I'm just going to create some lines. Um, I've got my line there and in the top here, I've got it open already but you you know, you know, might have it on photographer or whatever, um, in the top here I just want you to choose painting and then choose the colour that you want to put in the background. So um, I'm going to go for that colour there. I'm going to shift those around so that's the background colour and then on this line here I'm just going to press command and back space and that's going to fill that in, in fact that's going to be too like the other one so I'm going to do another one uh, let's go for something fairly striking just so it's really obvious we're going to go with that one and do that again so uh, command backspace and then that's what we've got there. Now this is the bit that you probably wouldn't know about. So Alt, Command and T is basically going to start recording the movements that I do. And I'm just going to bring that down and shift that there. And then press Enter. And then that is one movement. So I've, I've got one, I've copied it in another place got my gap to where I want it to be and now all I want to do is have them copied all the way across my page so to do that I'm going to get press shift alt command and T and as I press T each time holding down the rest of the buttons it's just going to copy each time all the way down the page and I will fill the page and then when I'm done there, I'm just going to press uh, Command D just to deselect. And that is um, that first step that I've done there. Now I need to um, Command T to transform. And I'm just going to rotate that until I'm happy. I'm, I'm only actually looking down that side of this image because I'm only going to be using that side. Uh, with this, with these lines going that way, so I'm happy with that. So I'm, I'm going to press Enter. That's going to fix that into position. My computer is uh, very full at the moment, so it does take a little bit more time than usual. So I'm going to go back to my uh, rectangle tool here, and and I'm going to just select halfway down the page like that, and I'm going to press uh, backspace delete and that's going to get rid of that and then I'm going to press command D to deselect and on this layer here I'm now going to copy that layer so command J and now I've got two of the same and then we're going to go up to here edit and then transform and then we're going to flip that horizontally and we will go then to this tool here to relocate it and we're just going to get it about right I'm going to zoom in here um, 
just so I can line that up a little bit more. Now pressing the arrow keys, as you can see, will help line them up. Uh, I think I'm all right with that. And then this layer here is already selected. I'm going to press my shift key and select the one underneath. Right click and then I'm going to merge those two layers there. Now that's acting as one, so command minus again just to zoom out. I'm now going to recrop this image. So I'm going to go to the crop tool here. I'm going to go into the corner there and select there. Now if uh, this is deleted here, delete uh, cropped pixels, that's actually going to cause you a bit of a problem because it's going to actually uh, crop all of this around the, the edge. So we definitely want that unselected and then press the tick or press enter to create that crop. So we'll just wait for that to happen. Okay, so there is our image and we now need to make that look like she's in front of it, not behind. So I'm going to hide the layer that we've just created. I'm going to use um, my quick selection tool. You can use the magic wand if you wish. Um, they all work the same. Now I'm going to select her um, as much as I can. I'm just doing this very quickly just to, for the demonstration purposes. Um, I'm not going to bother too much around the edges. Just a little bit. Uh, Alt and draw around if you've uh, gone too far. I'm all right with that, that would be fine. Just get that little bit of arm there. And then I'm going to go back, in fact, over this, I'm just going to go right click and then I'm going to select invert. And then go back to my top layer. And then I've um, made it visible again. And then I'm going to create the mask. And there we go. Now, obviously around these areas, they need to be tidied up or uh, hidden. Um, but you can see the method. We're going to just press here. So we're, we've unlinked those two. And what that means now, if we go to the move tool here, we can move the mask independently of the background. Okay, so we can we can do that. Right, so um, we just want to manipulate that a little bit. So we're on the actual image that we've created. The, we've unlinked it and we've got the background visible. So I'm just going to go up to Edit, uh, Transform, and then uh, let's go Free Transform. And then we've got all this up here that we can start manipulating. And height, let's, uh, let's make that higher. Um, shift it over a little bit. Um, do I want the width that wide? Maybe not. Let's make that a little bit thinner. That's too much. <laughs> and a bit more. Okay. I'm going to leave it like that for now. And press the OK button. The tick button. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, quite a striking look. Um, now, if you wanted to change the colours, you could quite easily by pressing Command and pressing on that uh, box there where we've created these shapes. And that's gone and selected all of the, the images. And we, if we're in paint here, we can actually start choosing a different colour. Um, and by um, pressing command and backspace we can actually fill that with any colour we desire um, just making sure that each time it's on the back and command backspace and that changes that and command D is going to deselect it all again so you can see you can actually make quite a striking image um, just by using this copy and repeat uh, function in Photoshop. 
Hope this has been helpful for you and thanks for watching.